first of all thanks to this subscriber of mine for motivating me enough for this video so here is my first top list video top 7 tech experts of selectera now the other tech is as well but i only chose those characters who are techy enough that i can't tell one is more talented than another so here is my list first tech in selectera that comes to everyone mind is none other than red hook the expert of selectera who made blasters of Eli Shane and Wilson. Red Hook is the one to create double barrel which made fusion shot possible and he also made accelerators which made shooting mega mobs possible. Fusion shot and mega mobs are the most important things as every selector of fan knows and the creator responsible for both is a top techie without a doubt right. Next techie in my mind is Nutter Black. Yes, you may doubt this for a moment but Nutter Black is as techie as evil. He's the first ever person to ghoul slux. But in addition to that, he is the one who made Selector as well. These two may not look like huge technology for many, but he is the first one to create a working Gatler. Many felt it isn't practically possible. A Gatler? But no one's ever been able to build a working model. He is smart enough to build his machinery underwater, and the strength he made is almost indestructible without a fusion shot. He can hit a heap of stones, and the strongest slugs can hit it and there is no single scratch on it. And even when God tries to make it fall, Black made it able to fly and get back on track. And he is able to dig a portal till deep cameras. Aren't these enough to prove how techy he is? Next character in my mind is God. Red Duke is the one to build double barrel. But it's God who made the blueprint and convinced him for it when he said fusion shot is impossible. He is Shane Gang's tech expert for everything. In Robo's Lux episode, he is able to make a mega mecha robot from mechas when needed. He was able to upgrade the mechas, which was indirectly responsible for the first ever mega mob start. He made jetpacks from mechas when needed in return of elementals. He also made a tracker to find elemental slugs. He even made slug foo possible with technology. Yes, I agree, he made it with the help of Drusilla. Who is next techie on list? Drusilla, the techie of Asian Canvas. She is the one to help God to make slug foo possible with technology. She is smart enough to find the tech to take down stone warriors and which was also able to take down iron warrior, the beast which didn't get a single scratch even after a fusion shot. The next one on the list is Quinton, the one who made robo slugs and was able to take down most powerful slugs of Eli. He made a robot too and one of his main inventions include Titan. The super fast and advanced vehicle via which Black was able to get out. The techie Black himself comes to him to hire for his super advanced vehicle. But the reason I worked overtime on these upgrades is because I heard Black had been recruiting top tech talent for some kind of super vehicle. So with no doubt he is a techie. Then next we have the game master who used his high level technology to steal slugs and to fool Shane Gang in the episode The Thrill of Game. It was very difficult for Shane Gang to beat his illusions. And anyone who saw the episode, the thrill of game, will agree is a techie. Then finally, this may not be the one you guys are expecting. It's Shadow Clan. Yes, you heard it right. Shadow Clan's technology will let you walk through shoulders. We saw how useful and powerful it is in the episode, The Gentleman and Thief. Also, the area they live as seen in episode, The Return, looks so advanced. And then, in Return of Elementals, we can see how advanced the tech is. They use slug energy to safeguard the Enigma slug of Wilshen. And no other powerful or smart techie can retrieve that Enigma slug unless they know it's unlocked with slug energy. Don't you think they are techie enough too? As I told in the beginning of video, there is no order saying one is superior to other. And there are other characters like Tobias, Catherine, Grendel and Drusilla's assistant who are good enough with technology. But I didn't include them in this video as I felt the characters I chose in this video are little superior and the video is limited to a separate number. So what do you think? Let me know your thoughts in comments.